Hello, I'm Bob Littell, CEO of Littell Consulting Services, and I also carry the title of Chief Net Weaver. Over my 40 plus years in the financial services industry, I've worn a number of different hats. I was marketing vice president for two insurance companies and chaired several national organization boards. But today, my real passion surrounds a concept I created over a decade ago called net weaving. In this segment, I'd like to tell you about the basics of net weaving as a way to powerfully network and move your career ahead. First, I want to start by defining net weaving. Net weaving is a golden rule and a pay it forward form of networking. It's all about being a connector of others as well as a no strings attached resource provider for others and doing either or both simply because you are genuinely in line with the law of reciprocity. You do believe that somewhere, somehow, down the line, something good will come back around. The key action step of net weaving involves hosting a meeting to introduce two people to each other. Then, when they usually turn the table on their host and ask, how can we help you, you simply ask them to each pay it forward and host a meeting for two others. The second point I want to make is that I believe women are natural net weavers. My wife says it's the more nurturing part of the female psyche, yet many women don't practice it. Those women who do almost always rise to the top of their field. Women, generally speaking, are better listeners than men. Networkers tend to only listen with one pair of ears and to be tuned in during a conversation with only one set of antenna to almost instantly determine if you are an immediate prospect and if not, it's on to the next person. As a net weaver, you learn to listen with a second pair of ears and to be tuned in during all forms of communication with a second pair of antenna and train yourself to ask three questions. First, is there someone I know who would benefit meeting and knowing this person? Secondly, are there resources which I or someone within my network could provide, no strings attached, which would help build a trusted relationship? And finally, just in the short period of time which you've gotten to talk with this individual, has she or he impressed you so much that you need to find a way to help them first and then hopefully make them a part of what we call your trusted resource network. Now I invite you to put this into action. Learn how to personally host meetings to introduce two persons to each other with their needs, problems, and opportunities in mind rather than your own as well as how to follow up and follow through, most effectively to increase the probability that the NetWeaver's model will prove correct. Good things happen to those people who make good things happen. I wish you great success in your NetWeaving.